derived unit, the unit of uh, derived quantities and the uh, units of a constant in an equation can be determined from the equations. So what does this mean? Eh? Let's see this example. Uh, just now we have learned that speed equal to distance over time, right? Okay. So can you tell me what's the units of distance? Is meter, right? Okay. And how about times? What's the unit of times? So the SI units for time is seconds. So therefore, the unit of speed is equal to meter over seconds. So which is equal to meter per seconds. Uh, or you can also write this as uh, ms to the power of negative 1. So this is the units of speed. So this is how we find the unit of a derived quantities uh, or the derived units. So first uh, we write the equations, okay? So we write the equations and then uh, and then we list down the unit of the base quantities in the equations, okay? And then uh, we determine the units of the derived quantities from the equations. Okay, now let's see this example. Find the derived units of the following quantities, a velocity. Uh, first of all, let's check the list of the derived quantities that we need to know to see uh, the equations for velocity. Okay, now velocity is here and uh, velocity is equal to displacement over time. Eh? Displacement over time. Okay, so let's write down the equation velocity. equal to displacement over time. Okay. Uh, and then the unit of velocity. Yeah? Okay. Now what is the unit of displacement? Displacement actually is a measure of length eh? and therefore the unit is meter. Okay, so let's write here, meter, and the unit of time is seconds, so it's second, and therefore the units of velocity is meter per seconds, eh? okay, or uh, you can write it as uh, ms to the power of negative one. So this is the unit of velocity, yeah? so this is how we find the unit of uh, derived quantities. Okay, now let's see question B. Yeah? Accelerations, acceleration. So what is the equation for acceleration? Let's check the list. Okay, now acceleration is here. And acceleration is equal to velocity change divided by time. Huh? Okay, so uh, first of all, let's write down the equation. Okay, so acceleration equal to velocity change divided, divided by time and the uh, unit of accelerations. Okay, now first of all, what is the unit of velocity change? Okay, now just now we have learned that uh, the unit of velocity is meter per second and the units of time is uh, second. Therefore, the units of acceleration is equal to meter per second divided by second. Uh, this will be equal to ms to the power of negative 2. So the unit of acceleration is meter per seconds per second or uh, meter per second to the power of negative 2. Okay, so we read this as meter per second per second okay or uh, okay you can also read this as meter per second square meter per second square 